Hello my friends, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today I'm excited to be sharing a review of a new bag I recently picked up. So this is the Matte and Nat Drew Med Crossbody in Chili Matte Nickel. So I'm gonna get into some of the details of the bag in a moment, but I wanted to do a quick introduction. So for those of you who are new, hi, my name is Alana. Here at Classy on the Run, we love talking about all things beautiful. Beautiful handbags, beautiful makeup, beautiful perfume, beautiful places to travel. We're not in a global pandemic, but we're in a global pandemic. So anyways, let's slow down that speed and get into this handbag. So later on in the video, I am gonna do some mod shots and a little close up of the product, but I wanted to go over this handbag. So I have had this bag in my collection for about a month now. And for the Canadians out there, I actually purchased this at Chapters Indigo. This bag retails for $60 and I had a $25 Chapter Indigo gift card on me. So I was looking for something that I could spend my gift card on and I've always wanted to try out Matt and Nat. So it just made sense. So first I wanna tell you a little bit about the brand and the material. So obviously when you look at this bag, you think it's leather, but it's actually vegan. Well, they call it vegan leather. So it's it's better than pleather, but it's, it's a very nice bag. I do just wish, I don't know. I think the term vegan leather is kind of weird because it's like, it's not leather. Anyways, it's a super cute bag. Um, I always thought that Matt and Nat maybe stood for like Matthew and Natalie. I don't know, but Matt and Nat actually stands for material, that's the mat, and nature, that's the nat. So one thing I love about this brand is that they are Canadian. They were founded in Montreal, um, and I, you guys know I love being able to support Canadian on my channel. So this is a great little bag. It definitely looks more expensive than the $60 I paid for it, minus the $25 gift card. Um, and this bag has been really enjoyable for summer. So what I've been enjoying about it is you can wear it as a crossbody, which is what I love about it. Now it is very small. I'm gonna get into what fits inside in a second, but this bag has been really great for just going on walks. You know, now that we're in COVID um, and quarantine, things are starting to open up, but not really. One thing my husband and I do is we go for a lot of walks. And I love this bag because it carries my keys it carries my cards and that's about it. I don't need anything else when I'm going out for a walk and it's not like we're shopping when we're out there. So this is just a really great lightweight, carefree, fuss-free bag that I can just pop over whatever I'm wearing. It looks cute with the dress. Usually when I'm wearing it, I am wearing leggings though. So it is fashionable and cute, but it's also practical for the reasons I bought it for but it's not that practical. So let's start with the bag. So you've got, it has a little flap. It, this part is detachable, so you could just carry it like a wallet. Although personally, I don't find that terribly practical. And in the back, there's a kind of like an envelope setting type thing back here. Um, I do wanna note that their liners are all made with recycled plastic water bottles, which is super cool. And it has sort of like a bronzy gold embossing of matte and nat on there. Let's, let's get in a little closer. And you can just so you can see this is where that that slip is so we're going to open it up it has a little metallic button and we've got a couple of sections so this is just where i have in it right now so when we open it up i have my louis vuitton um key my six key holder i'll leave a video up here for a review of that and that basically takes up all of the room inside of there other things i have is a 20 dollar bill and my airpods and i'm not kidding when i say that is I got two lower seats, whatever. That is all that fits in there. Now my phone does fit. I have the iPhone 7 Plus, I believe. 8 Plus, it's a fairly large phone. So my phone does fit in there, but if my phone's in there with the pop socket in the case, there isn't room for anything else. And again, that's okay. If I do wanna carry my phone in there, I usually like to have my phone in my hand just to like take pictures of flowers or whatever. But sometimes what I'll do is I won't bring my keys if I'm walking with my husband because he has his keys or I'll just open this up and just take out the one key I actually need. Um, so it is very, very, very small, but that's okay because that's what I wanted it for. Now, when you open up again here, this section here, I'm just gonna take my cards out. You have, I just, you have like a little, another little pouch here. And again, I just pop my cards. I just pop my cards typically in here. So typically, um, I like to have my driver's license, my credit card, and my debit card in there. And the reason I like to have the driver's license is sometimes um, I'll run out to do an errand, maybe drive to shoppers or go to the grocery store or something like that. And I don't want to risk 
grabbing my wallet and not having my driver's license on me. So no matter whether I think I'm gonna drive or not, I always like to have my driver's license in there. And yeah, that is all that fits in the purse. It is really, really small. Um, so if you're the kind of person who needs to carry a lot of things, then this bag is not for you. But the two reasons I wanted to get this was I was looking for a lightweight bag that I could just carry going for walks or running kind of just quick errands in COVID-19. Um, but I also wanted to try out the brand. I'd never owned anything from the brand before and I'd always been intrigued and I just never had, I don't know, a reason. And having that gift card for Indigo was just the perfect reason. It was actually a birthday gift for my aunt and uncle, but it was just the perfect reason to buy a small piece from the brand to try out. So if you are looking at a new, you know, higher end or, or nicer brand that you want to try, try out something small from them. I was honestly shocked that this was only 60 Canadian dollars. Like that is a really great price for a, you know, a decently known brand and, and a well-made product. Um, and I was in the market for something in this brown color. I do want to get another bag in this kind of chili brown, sort of like that classic brown leather color that's a little bigger for fall, but I haven't seen the perfect bag yet. So this was also a great way for me to get a little taste of that color that I wanted and, and a taste of a brand that I would wanted to try. So it does seem to be very well made. There is a little bit of fuzzing coming up along the side here on the stitching. Um, and there is sort of one little loose stitch over here, but it's very pretty. Uh, it is sort of like a brass kind of hardware. And I do just want to give you the dimensions. It is seven and a quarter inch long, four inches high, two inches wide, and a 23 inch drop chain, chain strap. So anyways, yeah, that is the product. Uh, this brand is definitely all about, you know, ethical sourcing of products, not harming animals. So this is a really, really sweet little bag. I'd say the only con is it is really small. I wish it was just a tiny bit bigger so I could also fit my phone along with my keys and my AirPods. But for the purpose I bought this bag for, it's exactly what I need. And I did pay for this bag with my own money other than the gift card that was a birthday gift. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought you'd find it interesting and helpful. And I know I was really curious about this brand. One of my coworkers has um, at least I'd say a couple of their products and she's um, you know, very plant-based and into all of that. So anyways, I'm really happy with this. And I will say the brand is all about Kind of exploring new innovations for how they can continue to improve the kind of ethically sourced fabrics of their products so they are available in 800 stores worldwide which again is really cool because this is a canadian brand and i love being able to support canadian brands so anyways that is the review of my little matte and nat bag a little bit about the brand and the product i'm really happy with it um let me know if you have any questions and i'll chat with you guys soon thanks so much for watching bye mm.